A personal data breach is defined as a breach of security leading to the accidental or unlawful destruction, loss, alteration, unauthorized disclosure of, or access to personal data. Jam Jacob, who previously headed the Privacy Policy Office of the National Privacy Commission, identified three main types of personal data breach, and they are the following. The first category is confidentiality breach. This is caused by the unauthorized disclosure of or access to personal data. An example of this is when a hacker gained access to the personal data stored in a computer system. Note that even unintentional disclosures qualify under this category. The second one is called integrity breach. This happens when there is an authorized alteration of personal data, which then renders its correctness, completeness, or reliability doubtful or even worthless. An example is when part of a digital file containing personal data becomes corrupted. The file and the data it contains remains accessible but may no longer be reliable. The third type is availability breach. This one results from the accidental or intentional loss or destruction of personal data. For example, when computers stop working and there is no backup system in place, they usually lead to this type of breach. Personal data breach can hurt businesses and consumers in so many ways. It is expensive to fix and its damage to lives and reputations would take time to repair. According to Alison Grace Johansson in her article published in Norton's website, data breach occurs because cybercrime is viewed by hackers as a profitable industry. Hackers seek personally identifiable information to steal money, compromise identities, or sell over the dark web. She listed down these reasons as to why data breaches occur. Attackers exploit system vulnerabilities. They look for security holes where they can sneak in malware. Attackers take advantage of weak passwords. They use techniques to guess weak and insecure user passwords. That's why it is advisable to use unique, complex passwords. Attackers use drive-by downloads. Users might have unintentionally downloaded a malware from a compromised web page that has a security flaw. The use of email for targeted malware attacks. Attackers trick users into revealing credentials, downloading malware attachments, or directing users to compromised websites. It is suggested to not open any links or attachments in the emails from unfamiliar sources to avoid infecting computers. At this point, let's talk about two reported data breaches in the Philippines in recent years. On March 27, 2016, 55 million voters in the Philippines were subject to data breach after the databases of the Commission on Elections, or COMELEC, was hacked and leaked. This massive data breach resulted in the theft of 15.8 million fingerprint records in addition, 228,605 email addresses and 1.3 million passport numbers of overseas Filipino voters were distributed on both the dark and clear web. Other information contained within the breach included postal addresses, place of birth, height, weight, gender, marital status, and parents' names. Behind the attack was a hacktivist group called Anonymous Philippines. Following the breach, a second hacker group, LOLSEC Filipinas posted the database online and since then it has been widely shared by others. The National Privacy Commission, which is the Philippines Privacy Watchdog, independent body mandated to administer and implement RA10173 or the Data Privacy Act of 2012, found out that the personal data in the breach is contained in several databases kept in the website, which are the following. The voter database in the Precinct Finder web application containing 75,302,683 records. The voter database in the Post Finder web application which contains 1,376,067 records. The iRegistro registration database with 139,301 records. The Firearms Ban Database, containing 896,992 personal data records and 20,485 records of firearm serial numbers. And the Comelec Personal Database, containing records of 1,267 Comelec personnel. The decision of the National Privacy Commission states that this volume of breached personal data made the incident the worst recorded breach on a government-held personal database in the world. 
Another data breach in the Philippines took place at the beginning of 2019. This was the data breach of about 900,000 clients of Cebuana Luwilier. Cebuana Luwilier offers domestic and international remittance, pawning, microinsurance, and microloaning services with over 2,500 branches around the Philippines. Cebuana revealed that name, date of birth, email addresses, mobile number, and in some cases, income information may have been exposed in the incident. The breach involved an email server used for marketing. The firm detected on January 15, 2019 attempts to use one of their email servers as a relay to send out spam to other domains. Further investigations discovered unauthorized downloading of contact lists used as recipients for email campaigns. This unauthorized downloads happened in August 5, 8, and 12, 2018. They stated that transaction details were not compromised and that the company main servers remained safe and protected. Cebuana reported the incident to the National Privacy Commission and notified all affected clients. Clients were advised to immediately change passwords as a precautionary measure. At this point, let's talk about the guidelines in notifying the National Privacy Commission about the personal data breach. The National Privacy Commission Circular 16-3 provides the guidelines for personal data breach management. It states that notification shall be required upon knowledge of or when there is reasonable belief by the personal information controller or personal information processor that a personal data breach requiring notification has occurred. The circular added that there shall be no delay in the notification if the breach involves at least 100 data subjects or the disclosure of sensitive personal information will harm or adversely affect the data subject. In both instances, the Commission shall be notified within the 72-hour period based on available information. The full report of the personal data breach must be submitted within five days unless the personal information controller is granted additional time by the Commission to comply. The notification shall include but not be limited to nature of the breach, personal data possibly involved, and measure taken to address the breach. If concealment of security breaches involving sensitive personal information is found, the penalty of imprisonment of one year and six months to five years and a fine of not less than 500,000 pesos but not more than 1 million pesos shall be imposed on persons who, after having knowledge of a security breach and of the obligation to notify the commission, intentionally or by omission conceals the fact of such security breach.